Dumelang and welcome to another vlog. I'm about to Mama Haudi Pilla and it's a beautiful morning from the village once again. And today I wanted to share this vlog with you and let you into my life and tell you more about myself. If you have seen my recent post uh, where I asked you guys what you would like to know about me. So today I will give you answers to some of the questions that you have about me and let you a little bit into my life. I also invited my mom and my sister to come over for lunch and I have to get some cooking done. And just like me, my mom is a homebody and spends a lot of time at home. So whenever I'm around, I like to invite her over to my house just so she can get out of the house and uh, stop doing so much around the house like I do. <laughs> you know, I think I also need to find people that, you know, will get me out of the house and get me out of my own head. But it is hard to get myself to leave the house because I find it weird being out in public spaces and, you know, um, interacting with people. Not that I can't do it, but it takes a little bit of energy out of me to get myself out of the house and go and be with people. And um, it helps to get out of the house sometimes. I also decided to cook some lunch for them. Uh, because I, for some reason I just feel like when you have people coming over you have to feed them and it's weird sometimes when you go and visit people and you know it doesn't matter how long you plan the trip and all of that and you still get there and you get takeaways and I don't mind it but I just feel like uh, it's worth going the extra mile and you know cooking something from scratch for either your friends or your family. One of the questions that I got was about my age. I am 39 years old. I am turning 40 in December. And please don't ask me about my star signs. I do not believe in those. And I believe people who think star signs do work and uh, do exist. I love it, cuckoo. Um, yeah, so I am turning 39 and I am married. I've been married now for eight years. And um, I am a mother to a beautiful little girl, Mohau. Mahau is a girl, for those who are wondering. I've got a couple of questions asking whether Mahau is a girl or a boy, but Mahau is a girl. She's turning four next year, so she turned three this year. And yeah. In terms of my education, I studied medical sciences at the University of Limpopo. And I also have a postgrad um, degree from Stellenbosch in medicine development. And yes, for the past 14 years, I have worked in the pharmaceutical industry. And for the last 11, I was in the same company. You can call it loyalty or you can call it madness. You decide. <laughs> for most of the 11 years, I worked in the regulatory department where we worked mainly with medicine registration and product development and i really did enjoy my job it was qu quite challenging at times but it's something that i really did find value in for the most part how did i find uh, work-life balance while trying to balance motherhood and being a wife and a mother and also working full time. To be honest, there is no such thing as work life balance. You have to accept that you will suck and at one thing and be good at another. And if there's one thing that I was good at is being a wife and a mother. And I always put my family first. And I think even at work, in as much as I performed, it's not that I wasn't performing at work. I did perform at work, but they always knew that nothing comes first to me other than my family. And I think it is... Um, quite difficult for a lot of people to be at work and also um, balance uh, the life of being a wife and a mother because we give so much of ourselves at work that um, we forget that the reason that we get the jobs and get the work and want to work is so that we can take care of our family and our family always comes second uh, to our jobs but for me that is the one thing that I've always made clear at work that if I am ever needed at work at my home uh, for, or to be there for my family my job can 
weight and my family will always come first. It is not easy being married and being a mother and also working, but it also helps to have a partner that understands and uh, that will sort of help you in some of the so-called um, wifely duties. Um, but at the end of the day, as a wife, there are a lot of responsibilities that are placed upon you. And uh, when you get married, those are the things that, you know, in most cases, you don't get told that uh, people are going to have different expectations of you. Be people are going to want a lot and expect a lot from you. And luckily, I'm not lazy. I can put in the work. I don't mind uh, waking up early to get stuff done in the house before I went to work. And also late in the day, I would also do some things to sort of catch up on um, things that I need to do for my family. So it's always been a pleasure for me being a wife and a mother. And um, I just now um, am starting to feel like this is truly what I was placed on this world to do other than just working full time. The decision to become a housewife was not taken lightly, but it is something that my husband and I have talked about uh, for a while. He was actually the first one who mentioned it to me many years ago, uh, but I, I just thought he was crazy. There was no way I was going to be a housewife because then I was so driven into becoming a corporate woman and all of that. But as time goes on, um, I started to realize that um, I, actually don't enjoy being in the working environment and I just wanted to do something different but um, when the opportunity presented itself for me to be a housewife I jumped at the opportunity but a lot of planning and preparation had to go into it. I will get to share more about me and my life later in other videos but for now I think that's enough about me. So my mama is renovating her kitchen so I thought I'd bring you guys on this process of her getting a new kitchen and she will be getting the kitchen done by um, the guy who did our kitchen as well so i've got contact so i hook her up so right now i'm on my way to town to get her tiles for the floor and possibly look at options for the wall tiles as well she's already picked um well we've already picked the color for the cabinets and we've done the planning of all the changes that we are going to do in the kitchen so i will do a sit down and um, explain those to you but right now i'm going to get her tiles and what i will do when i get to her house also is show you how the kitchen looks like now and so that when i explain the plans to you it makes sense as to what i mean when it comes to all the changes that we are going to make it is a very small kitchen and it's a renovation on a budget a very tight budget at that so we need new appliances, we need new tiles, um, the ceiling needs to change and a couple of things in terms of layout will also change. So I will take you on that. Maybe it will be maybe two or three episodes on my channel that I will uh, dedicate to the kitchen. And yeah, 
it will probably give you ideas on how you can use your money better in a kitchen if you are on a tight budget hopefully you'll get some tips on that and also um, enjoy it <laughs> uh, I, I love doing renovations they are stressful but something about them just they excite me so right now I'm just going to get floor tiles um, get them picked up and also delivered at my mom's house we've already got the appliances that were delivered on Friday and I'll also talk you through that in terms of the cost and share that with you and once we have the final uh, breakdown of uh, the cost in terms of the kitchen when it's completely done I will also share that with you so I hope you enjoy that and you take a little bit of something away from it so let's go to town when it comes to the floor tile I wanted to get her more of a cement look tile and CTM had quite a few nice options and also when it comes to size I didn't want anything smaller than a 600 by 600 tile so yeah she also has a tile in the passage that is more of a burgundy color that um, I cannot match that tile and I don't like that tile and it won't go with the kind of um, look we are going for in the kitchen so I decided to go with more of a cement look tile something that will not clash too much with um, the tile on the passage and also will still complement the cabinet colors that we chose so I landed on this tile that I thought was quite nice it's also a 600 by 600 and it was going for 124.90 a square meter So this is what the kitchen looks like right now. Um, you can tell it was renovated in the early 2000s because of the cherry cabinet color. And yeah, cherry wood was the end thing then. And she had a maroon towel to complement it. My mom really does love maroon. At one point we had maroon couches and maroon curtains. And yeah, it tells a story of the time when this kitchen was done. So yeah, there's my mom over there and yeah we are not changing a lot in the kitchen but the one thing that is definitely going to move is the stove where it's located and the only reason why we are moving it from there is that we are going to create more of a bigger space along that wall where you can have plenty of counter space to work on because currently the counter space that you have is hidden in the corner and it's hard to get anything done in there and also the sink is going to move and be right on top of the window and not in the corner like that because it's difficult to wash dishes with the sink that is sitting in the corner and the stove will move in this direction now where the blue container is and also that is so that we can access the cylinder closer which is going to be outside for the gas and not have to run a gas line underneath the tiles all the way to the other side of where the stove is and that is basically the only reason where we are moving the stove is just to make space there and also to allow for space for the microwave which is going to be where the extractor is right now and because right now it's on top of the fridge and we are getting a bigger fridge so it won't be able to be positioned on top of the fridge anymore so yeah the ceiling is also going to change we are moving the ceiling tiles and also the flooring is going to change and we are going to take out these tiles and go for a more of a cement look tile and yeah you can see how tiny the kitchen is we are back in Joburg now so I wanted to talk you guys through uh, the color of the kitchen when it comes to the kitchen we definitely wanted to get uh, a lighter color seeing that it's a small space and it's quite dark also because of the wall tile and the cabinet color so when it comes to the color of the kitchen we went with white and a wood accent for the back wall where the stove is going to be so for the rest of the kitchen it's going to be white and we picked summer white because summer white is not a bright white it's more of a creamier color of white than um what is the other one called i don't know the other name of the white color but it's like a pure white uh, summer white is not pure white it's a more of a creamy color and we paired that up with uh, tunari tunari is a wood um color which is more in the on the deep side i thought that would work quite well with um 
her house considering that she's got um that burgundy towel that's going in the passage so i didn't want to go with uh too light of a wood um on the back or anything that is going to be yellow so tunari is more in uh the deeper brown uh color and i thought it would be complemented quite nicely by the creamy white and for the hardware we are going to go with um more of a slim finish hardware for the doors so it's, it's not even going to be visible but it's going to be in a black color um, which can change but for now I, I don't want anything that will overpower the kitchen so it's probably going to be a matte black and for the tap and sink we're going with with an undermount sink and uh, the tap is going to be in a silver and also the sinks are going to be a silver but they're going to be an undermount and for the stone top we're going to go with more of a marble look kind of uh, slab and that will have like some a bit of black strokes in it um, just to complement the handles and also the whole kitchen and the steam and hopefully it comes together quite nicely it's a bit stressful when you're planning ideas and you know um coming up with a design for uh, a space because it's hard to visualize it but when you've got uh, plans and drawings on how it's going to look at least it gives you a little bit of an idea but up until the project is done and it's finished and you can see how it's really looking then uh, that's when you know that you've made the right decisions. But in most um, cases, you're just going with your gut and how you feel about um, the pieces that you're putting together, which is nice when you can get um, somebody to put all the ideas and, you know, all the finishings together on um, a sketch for you so that you know what it's going to look like when it's finally done. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping the colors work very well together and she has a very nice kitchen she she deserves to have a nice space and it's been a while since her kitchen has been renovated and i love my mom and i want the best for her and yeah i, I i'm looking forward to sharing the rest of the kitchen with you i think um next week i will share uh, the price for the quotation that we've got on her kitchen and also um, the appliances and we'll probably be starting with the demo of the kitchen in that episode so I'm hoping to go back to Polokwane very soon and yeah I'll get all of those for you and once it's ready I will share that with you I didn't want to make it a long vlog I just wanted to do a vlog this week but I thought uh, let me share that part of my life with you I sometimes wish that I could share my family with you but for privacy sake and for me I'm not comfortable uh, putting my family on camera just for um, security and privacy reasons I I love sharing designs I love sharing my life and all of that but i think my family is one part that i hold near and dear and sacred to me and it's not something that i feel i'm comfortable enough to share with all of you um on a public platform like youtube but everybody that knows me that spends time with me you know i like to talk about my family you know you get to meet my family and <sighs> I don't want to get emotional but uh, I think family is very important for me and I I struggle when it comes to sharing them on um, the internet number one for public judgment and number two for privacy sake and also because relationships are very dynamic we go through different things and I would hate to have to live my life um, as a lie or leave a lie in just to to sort of bring you guys content because we i will never get to show you uh when we're having difficulties and it gives you a bad perspective on relationships because when you start going through troubles in your relationship you're wondering why your relationship is not like mine but i never get to show you that side even my family never gets to see when uh, my husband and i are having issues and stuff it, it stays between us which is why i struggled to show which is why i struggle to show you guys uh, my family and how we interact because there will be moments that will be misinterpreted by uh, you guys from that side of the lens something that is innocent may come out to be is weird on your side but um yeah I, I don't think i'll ever be comfortable putting my family on camera and uh, as you've seen when i put up pictures of my where my husband is in pictures i cover them because of the agreement that we had he said no no pictures of me on the internet and i'm okay with that and for some it might not be okay and yeah i will get to share more of my life with you guys but definitely not um with them on camera so i hope that is okay for you guys and we can move on from this whole topic of you guys seeing me in 
interact with people when i'm with people i like to be in the moment and enjoy it and it becomes hard for me to pick up the camera and put the camera in their face or have a camera standing by because the minute a camera comes up i can tell you i see it with how the minute she thinks i'm taking a video or a picture of her she becomes a completely different person and whether you like it or not the camera does affect how you present yourself sometimes i look at myself on the video and I feel like it's not really me, me, but um, it, it does affect how you do present yourself in front of people. And I never want to put my family at a place where they feel like they need to perform just because the lens of the camera is up in their face. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next time on another vlog and see you then. Bye bye.